What is up Chrono Clashers? Chris here with Chrono Clash Central yet again and this is the red green um, kind of EX kind of like big big boys I don't know if you can call it control we'll find out a lot of cards so the, the cheap stuff there's not a lot of cheap stuff in this deck it's really King Ghidorah head and of course it's good because it costs two it can kill things and then it's got the fantastic minus strength on the defense um, so this is really like the, the, the cheap stuff. You've got Godzilla, the first form, um, is going to help you not give your opponent too much time if you get to play on the first turn. And then it can just turn itself into leadership, and then you play a bigger boy for two less. And then we got uh, Unmanned Conventional Bomb, uh, minus three strength to two different battlers. So you're going to have to choose, you're going to have to have two battlers on the field to be able to use this. Um, and honestly, I don't think this is that great if you're playing only Godzilla. So this is kind of like a throw-in, um, just to see if you're playing against those Naruto decks, they tend to play a lot of like smaller power cards. So this is a kind of a nod towards the, the Naruto, assuming you're playing against those. But I would take this out for something else if you're playing only Godzilla. Boop, 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 boop. Four costs. We've got Infinite Heat Ray and Mazer Beam Tank. Uh, both these cards got fantastic guardian effects of minus four strength. Um, it's going to help keep you alive uh, and just be real defensive. Infinite Heat Ray is there to help get EX cards. And Mazer Beam Tank is there to set up um, if you're playing against, especially especially against Naruto, if this guy stays on the field, um, you just should be minus four, kill something, minus four, kill something. Um, assuming they have four or less strength. But like this guy can just get out of control, um, theoretically. So those are the fours, those are the fours. Staying kind of on theme with the Infinite Heat Ray, we've got the Land Mogra and Gargal. So those guys are gonna give you your EX cards even more. Um, this is, is a little bit of an EX focused deck, um, but you do have like, you see a lot of sneak attacks so you can close out the game in many different ways. So that's gonna make it fun to play, um, keep it exciting. And then we've got Oxygen Destroyer, just keeping with the control theme having good effects in the Guardian stack to stop your opponent and give you enough time to get your beefy plays going. Ba -doop, ba -doop. And then we get sixes, we got two spaceships, we got Super X2, and we've got GX Griffin. So the X2 is there for more EX cards. This is the high amount of EX card generation for Godzilla, um, but you're just gonna see why that is, um, because it's gonna tie into our strat. And then we're gonna get Griffins, um, because it has double legion, double legion. So that means you're going to be able to refill your hand um, quite a lot and ideally dig for some cards that you might need if you don't have them. So that's the idea behind the Griffin. It's also nice if you just play him first turn and then sacrifice him for an EX later um, and just get double legion. Double legion never hurt anybody. Oh, and then another six is Godzilla Repel Mission, of course. You got to have this. It, it, it's minus eight strength is so good. It kills like everything. It kills everything, even through toughness. You gotta have it, you gotta have it. And then the rest of the cards are seven costs. So we've got Destroy Aggregate, so he's gonna have toughness and reinforcements. So this guy's good because you can play him on two ways. You can play him without the toughness, try to kill him and play one of your other sevens. Um, since the most of the deck is sevens, you're just gonna be able to really take advantage of reinforcements. Uh, I will note, if you, if small caveat, when the Naruto expansions come out, uh, reinforcements is getting eroded. It's getting changed to cost less than this unit. So you're only going to be about a six, not a seven. So you can only bring out a six, not a seven. Just to repeat that, make it clear. Um, so this deck will just straight up not work. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> this deck will not work after the Naruto expansions are released. So other seven, modified Yigen, uh, seven, seven has toughness when he attacks, you give something minus three, so he basically attacks for 10, uh, or just attacks and kills small things, so pretty pretty solid there. You get a little bit of ramp with the Godzilla, um, just another leadership, and mainly for seven cost, um, so you can get all your EX cards off. So Godzilla, pretty good. And then, of course, laying them all out there, covering up Godzilla a little bit. All the Sentinels in Yurin, like, oh, they're kind of running up the edge. Kind of running up the edge there, I'm sorry. Uh, all the Sentinels in green, 
uh, in a defensive control style deck where you're just trying to kill your opponent's units, you want to have as many Sentinels as possible, and no one does it better than green. So that's it with the main deck. Let's take, let's take a look at the EX cards real quick. We have a few cheap ones, um, and this is because, you know, in some sticky situations, you might not have your 7 cost, you might not be able to go into a 7 cost EX, you might be, you might have to go through these. And Megaron is there for the sticky situation where you need Sentinel, and New Gotengo is there um, if you expect the game to go pretty long. You can play him on the field, and as long as he's there, uh, you can be able to play something and give it Swiftness and Legion for the turn. Uh, that's pretty insane. So if you have enough mana to play something and then just, oh, New Gotengo, that thing basically becomes an EX card. Uh, so... They're there for those sticky situations. The rest, we've got Hidora, six costs, so all your sevens get summoned into him. And leadership and minus three to something when you're attacking is nothing to scoff at. Uh, keep in line with the control on attack. Oh, this one's on place, Mogura. But you choose two, minus two strength. Again, deal with the weenie guys, the guys that are sitting there, chilling, trying to play a lot of guys, play a lot of cards, get go into Mogura, and just destroy two of them, just like, bah, bah. Just like that. You gotta make the sound effect too, or it's not as cool. Uh, and then if your opponent was not tired of Sentinels enough, we have MSF3, which is another Sentinel that has toughness in the EX guards. Um, so <laughs> if your opponent's having a hard time getting through Sentinels, just slap it down another one, make them cry. And then of course we got Burning Godzilla for a massive sneak attack along with the destruction effect. So helps you close out games, uh, do whatever you want. You could even since he costs 7, it's pretty easy to get him through a normal EX summon, and then he's just sitting there with a 9 strength, um, and that's nothing to scoff at. So that is it for the red-green control style deck for Godzilla. We'll see how it goes. Let me know if you guys have built a similar deck. If you enjoy it, give me that thumbs up. It helps out a ton. Let me know what other decks you want to see, maybe some other combination. There's, We've gone through all the color combinations. Um, I've got all of them planned, and so... But there's like different variations. So if you see a variation on a color, you're like, oh, well, what if you built it uh, this way, like with uh, focus on toughness or something? I don't know. Let me know if you guys have any thoughts about that. Subscribe with the bell, of course, for more deck profiles, more matches, all everything you could want, Chrono Clash. And I will see you guys in another video. But until then, keep on learning, keep on having fun, and have a wonderful day. Peace.